morning. Um, so, yeah. We're going to keep our fingers crossed. Otherwise, I have to go into every freaking, like, Myers and Walmart type store and start grabbing fucking hairbrushes and start throwing them at them. Or I'd start throwing ceramic pieces at them or bob at it. Um, we're going to try something new with this bankruptcy. It is going to happen. Um, hold on. I hope I can get the credit card paid off in two years with a year and a half to spare. And divorce before the time frame is up. Um, we're going to try to live off of gift cards, which means basically, because I know how I put my paychecks aside. Um, the first paycheck usually covers, first two paychecks usually, it's the first and the last paycheck usually cover the first month of the bills and then the last month of the bills. And then because I'm only paying for water and credit cards and then of course the attempt to try to get my car insurance by myself and we have a car payment um, the water bill is about every three months so I'll be able to stack up uh, like maybe one or two extra paychecks but considering I know that my bills as far as groceries go are the cats, big time, and laundry. <sighs> Why am I doing the gift card type bankruptcy? Because there was this thing about lingering cash and where's the cash coming from. So I'm not going to deal with it. It's just easier to deposit and then withdraw via gift card and then just take it from there. We are not doing Starbucks. This is really expensive, and it makes no sense when I have the green tea available at Tiavana for about maybe 63% of the full price spent in a year at Starbucks. So we are just going to stick with that. Plus, Total Health Food Store has the actual substitute tea. So we're going to do it that way. Um, I'm content with that. I'm also content with grits, canned soup, and eating from the grocery store. Um, I'm finding it really difficult to go and do what these people do. It's, it's like you visit a place like two or three times a month or two or three times every three months. I, it's just not me, considering the fact I like to work out a lot and sleep. So what am I going to do with the spare time that I have? Well, the whole point is not to have a boyfriend, and the whole point is not to be with my mom and dad, okay? I don't want to be with my mom and dad, because it's constantly, if they're busy and doing stuff that I think is just superfluous, then I end up staying in bed, and I go to sleep. <laughs> then, if they're up doing something that I don't want to do, then it's get out of the house, so it's like something I gotta work on not the greatest fucking workout right now but um am I gonna work on my math maybe haven't decided it's so sixth grade is shit did that shit in sixth grade like am I gonna work on my math all summer yeah waste the fucking time waste the fucking time am I gonna quilt no that's another fucking expense so there's like to be no spending other than just Doing, I mean, we're going to keep going through this around and around and around. Training around and around and around. And then it's just going to be spending around and around. So there's just no point in, in, in killing my budget. Just keeping it afloat. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very cold here in Michigan when it starts raining. We're just going to do that. The cats are very expensive right now because Grandma has fed them something that we just... I haven't fed the cats since we've ever got them. Temptations. We just don't feed them that. So, you know, there's fat ass. This is a... Where's Santa Paws at? He's sleeping. 
He's sleeping. He ate so much sunny. He's sleeping. I love it. I love it. Mommy tells you not to eat. Skip a meal. No eat Oh, gotta eat again. Stressed out. Like, it's just the dog. Piss at it. Do what your sister does. Anyway, so we're, we're going to focus on that. Cats are going to go on a gift card. I guess when I go grocery shopping, it's going to be the funniest thing. But it's going to be itemized, like, no different than what a bankruptcy lawyer would ask you. Do you have a budget sheet of how much you, you spend on a, on a monthly average? Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Let me pull out the wallet and the spreadsheet that goes with it. Which is fine. I mean, not a big deal to me. Um, it's just, just a little bit more anal than what the average person would bring in, I guess. And you guys can't go and say that, well, she's spending on stuff that she doesn't need. Okay, first of all, I'm getting rid of all my clothes in the closet. Second of all, I'm getting rid of all the junk that's in the freaking boxes. Third, we're getting rid of all the textbooks. There's no point at this point. It's just gonna, it's, it is, it's gonna go. It's just gonna, it, it's, it's, some people are just gonna be like this. It's be like that. It's gonna be one of those, those, because it's just one person's just gonna say, Are you stupid? And it's fine. Completely fine. So, yeah. Yeah, Starbucks is a waste. I think I might just get like a total of like a, 50 bucks and just keep it to just Americanos. It's really not worth it. I can't believe it. Like, I don't know what the obsession is. I mean, other than the attraction of stars, but that's about it. Um, I don't feel the need to eat three times a day. Especially when it's buy groceries and then we go out. That makes no sense. You buy groceries and you go out to eat. That makes no sense. So once again, there's going to be that fight. And so... It's the urge to say no a little bit more, like don't make it. But that's where the whole divorce comes in because it's just not worth my time and aggravation to sit through it and cry and boo-hoo and then like have to repeat a stunt because we just don't understand that, you know, you have to work an hourly paying job in order to get unemployment. It's stated right in the AP government and law book. It's stated right there. You have to work an hourly <laughs> <laughs> paycheck in order to get it it's stated right there you can't get some child to write out an essay answer that says salary paying people should get unemployment now you guys will fly out to Aruba and sit there and park your ass get drunk and then we never see the money again because you guys don't know how to speak a second language with fucking common sense it's such fun grander we're not going on vacations because by the time, by the time I should be done with everything, KFC should kick in and we should have a divorce on the table. Like I said, in Michigan, we can divorce without an attorney present. And no, I don't think you have to file after an attorney is present that submits it. That's just somebody throwing fucking smoke. I about had it. I about had it with this whole fucking I need money shit. As far as defense goes, we're going to try to be out of the country, <laughs> which means Michigan. We're going to try to be out of the country of Michigan during during the six months period. We're going to try. We're going to definitely try. I don't know where I'm going to go, but you guys got to be nice to me because... It's not fun when you have to send out a UN letter saying that we got some fucking crazy schizoid grandmother doing crazy stupid shit. Considering the fact that another Irish family is doing the same crazy stupid shit too. It's a whole fucking mess. Um, yeah, all started in the country of Michigan, so we might as well be our own fucking country at this point. Oh my god. I'm laughing because it all started way before Aruba. Here I am sitting there with my phone. It's on recording. I'm just like recording and recording and recording it. And then 
jackass Dan Patrick gets on the fucking phone line thinking like it's all clear. <laughs> like there's like an expiration date on a vampire. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Tom Cruise did the movie and it showed forever. It showed forever. I wasn't going to kill my dad. Even with a bad diet, a vampire can still fucking live forever. It just They just look for a task. That's all. We've yet to meet one, so you might want to experiment. I'm just fucking kidding with you, but you are a dickhead. Okay. So... It's just it's just it. It's just it. What was that? That's a nasty. It's a nasty one. That's a nasty one because I can't wash my face mask. Can't wash it because it's got rubber padding on it. So it's like grimy and stuff. Am I gonna get a new one? No. No, because we don't know what's gonna happen after today, or Sunday, Sunday. So, um. But we are not, I'm asking that you just desensitize the word for me, divorce and bankruptcy, so this way I can just fuck it. And just, I was going to say fucking function. This way I can just function and just get it all done and just be out of the goddamn way. Take the cat with me, I mean, I'll leave Ariam with him, but I'll take Miriam and, you know, we'll just, me and Miriam will look out for Ian on the website, maybe we can get him sooner, but I doubt it. When that time comes, but definitely not staying uh, with this marriage at all. January 15th was the worst fucking mistake we ever made. And he should have been gone, like, years before we had gotten married. If he was going to pull this fucking affair off with, like, six other people. So, once you get into one affair, it's easy to do another and another and another and another. And he managed to do it in between um, the times that I was at school. So I know he was able to do it because there was a lot of times he'd be like, you don't need to know. And it's like, okay. And then there's the constant bitching that I'm, you know, I'm always asleep. Yeah, I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm very exhausted. And now the fight's going to be, well, I want you to know that you know, I'm not cheating. Okay, it's the fact that you cheated before. It's the fact that you're helping somebody out that really doesn't need the help. And lives at home with her mom. Then it's, what are you doing at golfing by yourself? What are you doing really at work saying you're on the road? And you're not bringing home a paycheck to cover the bills. You're constantly saying, I already paid this bill. Or it needs to be covered by somebody else. So there's constant fucking lying. And it's being lied to my face. Like I said, the logic to suicide should be able to put a person down as far as like post-mortem. And this doesn't happen. It's not happening. It's not happening. And I even have the cats on something, on a logic. To even prove that they're legit too. Okay. So they're on a they're 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 more ancient. Okay, so they're on a different flatland. So you kind of have to think why is there an exodus type thing? Well, we kind of eliminated religions. Okay, yeah. Yeah. To debunk all your fucking bitching. That's all you females. Because each and every single one of you decided to take a religion and say something on it. Against me. So that backfired on you guys. Pretty sure Socrates proved that we, we all have a tendency to put thoughts in people's heads versus seeing what's going on. And saying that it's possible that my emotions got into it. It's a whole philosophical. It's a whole philosophical argument. So for me to be fixated on my fucking money and my budget and how to present it to the bankruptcy lawyer how can you even say that i'm going after people's jobs when i'm too busy worried about oh excuse me paying my bills getting my job correct and doing it correct versus looking at you across the fucking desk or across the fucking 
you know, walkway, and then you want to say that I, I got a problem with you. No, I don't got a problem with you. I don't got a problem with you. You got a problem with me, and that's not good. So, plus this all started, like, right around the time of the parent lawsuit, and so that took place, and that made, it, made the mess even worse, so not a fun combination of everything. Plus we had the Lindsey Graham Roman Polanski murder attempt. I mean, I don't know where the fuck he got the brilliant idea to do what he did, but fantastic. We go right back through December 19, 2015. So it's, it's not great. So I'm still trying to figure out what background to put it on because it's Sesame Street and that's an important thing. Um, as far as attempting an app, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. But if it doesn't get done but the rest of it gets done, then it means I still have time to do it during unemployment. And... That may be an iffy because I don't know how the outcome is going to be. So if I do everything correct, get the car returned in time, um, the outcome may be different where I may be staying. So we'll see. We're not, we're not going to put too much hope on it. We're just going to leave it to the side. It's like extra credit. That being said, hopefully everything should work out. It should. It should. Um, how the gift card works, it goes like this. You get a direct deposit into your checking account. You go to like a 7-Eleven or a Speedway, which is where the two places I really need to hang out during the time in the event that I feel threatened or I feel like not safe. Um, you go to one of those places, you grab a gift card, and then you run off the budget amount that you set. And then you keep the receipt of when you bought it, and then you keep the receipts of when you use that card. If it's reloadable, then you keep the reloaded activation receipt. And if it's not, you just get another card, and then you don't throw out the old one. You keep the old one, and you keep tracing and tracing and tracing. And you're supposed to keep it in a shoebox, but I'm going to try to keep it in a wallet. So all the it'll look really neat. It's really cool. It's a really cool budget approach. Most people don't do it because they feel kind of cheap about it, but it prevents a lot of back talking and cash on hand. So, like, if you're telling somebody, look, I don't have cash, they can't go and say that you're fucking prostituting or doing all sorts of crazy, stupid shit, which is what my whole fucking family blames me for. And I don't know how, if I'm constantly working around the fucking clock um, on all my fucking resume dates, so... Just it don't make sense. Plus, it don't make sense when we keep going <laughs> through this. So. Yep. 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 Hopefully, I'll have it done by tonight. I'll think about it and then just get it down and, and just jot it all down. I spell it every fucking day. You guys will sit there and try to fucking change it and shit. It's just same fucking shit, dig. No food, no eating, chicken noodle soup, pop and green tea and water, and that's it. Whoop de la do. So freaking great. I mean, but no one can blame me for anything. No one can accuse me falsely of something. So it's not the sign of a paranoid schizophrenic. Holy shit. What's wrong, Yum? Yeah, I know you're bored. You baby boy. Who's the baby boy? Who's the baby boy? Who's gonna come back and be yum yum? Tumble to somersault. Paws up in the air. You. That's right. You're gonna say hello to the whole world again. And then you're gonna be a little shit to everybody.
mommy upset you. You were sleeping nice and swell. Infinite amount of fucking times we gotta loop this through, and I gotta get in. Chance if you did a wonderful job. Ask that same fucking script. It's the same fucking set of speeches. Even if it's a change in a fucking semicolon, it's the same fucking shit you're gonna be saying over and over again. Cause I'm gonna say, then I'm gonna say it's just all in your head. Then it's just all in your head. <laughs> I mean, like he wrote all the script, but that's okay. It's okay. It is okay. It's okay. It's it's just a little, just a little bump. That's all. A little discomfort. That's all. Don't stop anything on my account. Don't stop anything on my account. Oh no, please do. I didn't realize I made a prediction like, oops. Somebody went and grabbed me like and said, pinch one of the stars while you're up there. So I did. <laughs> like, which one do you want? Like, that one? The no name one? Let's do no name. There we go. <laughs> gonna make a difference not really <laughs> you guys are athletes you should be able to you should be able to do the same performance level as you did like infinite number of times years ago <laughs> you guys batting average suck i'm like i'm looking at the stat cards from the astros and like the one who has 0. 0.471 really was a 0. 0.4 0. 0.512 and the one that was a point two, point, I think a point two one seven, your batting average was really a point. This was hilarious. Three eight three. I don't even know how you could fucking achieve that one. It's it's funny. It's funny. So y'all did something you weren't supposed to do. That's okay. Hey, not my fucking paycheck. <laughs> Anyways, I'm off to go grab me a cappuccino. Because <laughs> I need a cappuccino. Peace out.